all right welcome to my youtube channel as you can see on the board we have four resistors that are connected in para and two of the resistors that are connected in series and we are asked to calculate for the total resistance the voltage drop in each of the group and the current in each of the resistors first of all when the question is given like this we have to find that the resistance the equivalent resistance in the para group so we say total resistance in the para group is equal to 1 over r3 plus 1 over r4 plus 1 over r5 plus 1 over r6 so 1 over resistance total in the para group is 1 over 12 as we can see plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 10 so 1 over resistor total in para group is equal to so 1 divided by 12 1 divided by 12 will give us 0 0.083 plus 1 divided by 6 1 divided by 6 will give us 0 0.167 plus 1 divided by 7 will give us 0 0.143 plus 1 divided by 10 will give us 0 0.1 0 0.1 so 1 over resistors in para total in para group let's add them so 0 0.083 plus 0 0.167 plus 0 0.143 plus 0 0.1 it gives us 0 0.493 when we do change of subject here we have our r total in the para group as standing alone one divided by this 0 0.493 so our resistance total in the para group becomes so one divided by this number 1 divided by this number will give us an answer of 1 divided by 0 0.493 will give us our total resistance in the para group as what? 2.028 ohms. So this is what we have as the resistance total in the para group. So now we have reduced these four resistors into one resistor. So now it's going to be in series with this. So now we can find our number one, as they say, the total resistance as R1 plus R2 plus this, because now this is going to connect. So plus our resistance in the para group. So total resistance is equal to R1 is four, R2 is eight, and then our resistor in the para group is 2.028. So total resistance 4 plus 8, 12 plus 2.028. So we have 14.028. So now that we have this as our total resistance number one, we can now find the total voltage. So the total voltage we all know is current, which is current times what? resistance so total voltage our current is given as 20 amps which is 20 amps times the total resistance is 14.028 so our total voltage becomes so let's say 20 times 14.028 we have our answer as 280.56 5 6 volts okay here is ohms right don't forget to bring your unit so this becomes our total voltage so this is ohms this voltage so what we do next what we do next is that now that we have the total voltage we can be able to find the voltage drop in each group but because these are in series the same amount of current will flow here and here 
so you only multiply the 20 by this you have the voltage drop here you multiply the 20 by 8 and you have the voltage drop here and we so we say number two number two i voltage drop in uh, four ohm resistor which is resistor one voltage drop in the four ohm resistor which is total current times times the r1 so voltage drop in the four ohm resistor is equal to 20 times r1 which is four so voltage drop in four ohm resistor becomes what 80 volts so 2ii I, so ii I, voltage drop in 8 ohm resistor is total current so this is the voltage drop in r4 so let's put it there voltage drop in r in what in 4 ohm resistor which is r1 is 80 volts so let's find the voltage drop the voltage drop in 8 ohm resistor so total current times the r2 so voltage drop in 8 ohms is equal to 20 times 8 so we have the voltage drop in 8 ohm resistors 20 by 8 is what 160 volts so this is the voltage drop this is the voltage drop that we have in 8 ohm resistor so now that we have the voltage drop in the in 4 ohm and 8 ohm resistor so this is 160 volts let's add them so when we add the voltage drop so we say voltage drop in the series group in the series group is equal to voltage drop in 4 ohms plus voltage drop in voltage drop in 8 ohms so voltage drop in the series group is what 80 plus 160 and when we add it we have 240 volts so this becomes the voltage drop in the series group all right so now that we have the voltage drop in the series group so this becomes our major number two our major number two all right so so we can clean these ones they help us to get the voltage drop in the series group so before then before we can get the voltage drop in the para group you see the vote they have the voltage drop in the series group as when we add them we have what 240 so we subtract the 240 from the total voltage so this is our total voltage here so we say voltage drop so this becomes our 2i voltage drop in the para group is equal to total voltage minus the voltage drop in the series group so voltage drop in the para group is equal to 280.56 minus 240 so voltage drop in the para group is equal to 40 yeah 40 point 40.56 volts so this becomes our final answer for the voltage drop drop in each group we have the voltage drop in series group as 240 a voltage drop in para group in in what as 4.56 so this becomes the voltage drop in the para group so 40.56 volts so now we can be able to get find our current in each of the resistors in para so current in each of the resistors we know current is equal to voltage over r so because they say current in each of the resistor we say current in four ohms and eight ohms so we say current in four ohms and eight ohm and current in eight ohm is equal to so this become our number three so current so it's the same thing so current in four ohm is what 20 amps and current in 
8 ohm is the same 20 amps. So we can say the current here in which is zero in 4 ohms and 8 is the same. So let's find the current flowing in R3, R4, and R5, and R6 using the Ohm's law formula. So we say um, I, I, which is current flowing in R3. So R3 is what? 12 ohm. Resistor is equal to voltage drop in the power group. So that is when you are asked to find the current in each of the resistors in power, use the voltage drop in the power group to divide with the resistors that are connected in power and you will have your current in each of the power resistors. So we say voltage drop in the power group over 12, no, over R3. So our voltage drop in power group is 14.56 over R3 is 12, so our current in 12 ohm resistor becomes, so let's see, 40.56 divided by 12, we have our answer as 3.38 amps, so this becomes our current in 12 ohm resistors. Let's see II, so current in R4 resistors, which is 6 ohms, is equal to voltage drop in the power group over R4. So use the same voltage drop to divide each of the resistors. So the 40.56 over 6 ohms. So current in 6 ohms is equal to, in 6 ohm, is equal to, is equal to 6.76, 6.76 amps. So this is the current we have in 6 ohms. So IV current in current in R5 resistor which is 7 ohm which is voltage drop in the power group over the R5 which is 40.56 over 7. So current in the 7 ohm resistor will give us 7 will give us 5. 7, 7, 9 amps, 7, 9 amps, so V, current in R6, which is 10 ohm resistor, so this is the current in the 7 ohm resistor, so current, current in R6, which is 10 ohm, is equal to voltage drop in the power group over R6. So 40.56 divided by R6, which is 10. So our current in 10 ohm resistor is equal to is equal to 40.56 40 divided by 10. We have our answer as 4.06. Amps. Now let's add these four resistors, these uh, four currents that flow in each of these branch, and you see that we have the same amount of voltage. So we have 3.38 plus 6.76 plus 5.79 plus 4.06. And we have 19.99, which is approximately 20 amps. When you do that, it will help you to know that your answer is correct. And here, when you add the voltage drop, which is 80 plus 160, 240 plus 40.56, .56, you have the same amount of 280.56 as the overall voltage. So for now, this is the answer when you are given a question like this. This is the answer and this is how we go about it. Right, go on my YouTube channel, subscribe, make a comment and share my videos. If you want to see more of my videos, just write David Tetequote into bracket, calculation and practice and you see more of my video. So for now, this is the answer for this. Bye for now. Meet you in another video. Bye.